Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick demo of the new Sonable Smart Gate. It's something I've been looking forward to since they announced it, because gates are one of the things that have never really worked well for what we use in podcast editing. So let's take a look at it. So we've got the, the target where we set that. It's looking for speech, so I will play some. Another thing that I have going on. It will give you a preset starting point. This is one of the things I was a little disappointed with. It doesn't, unlike their other smart products or plugins, they don't just the settings based on the audio. It doesn't matter what voice I put through this, it all defaults to these settings. So we've got level bias, dial in some level dependency for the activity function. The higher the level bias, the more level dependent the acti the more level dependent the activity function will become. We have our attack, we have our threshold, we have our release, we have a hold time, we have tolerance. Set a tolerance range by dragging the line or by entering an exact value. A higher tolerance leads to a smoother opening and closing of the gate. Down here we have impact, control the global processing impact. So this can be looked at as an amount knob. And then we have some kind of advanced settings where we have three bands and we can adjust the amount of gating that's, imp that's applied. So control the suppression offset for the low end, the mid, or the high. It has a sidechain function. That's something that Hindenburg doesn't offer, so I can't demonstrate that in this. But let's take a listen to this audio before. Mm. Now we will play that back with the default settings. So you can see it did leave, let a little bit of noise come through right here. So we could try raising the threshold. And that seems to have knocked that out. Mm. So just like any other gate, it will allow some sounds to come through if they are too loud, even if they aren't speech, but this does a much better job than any other gate I've worked with in that it's smart. It knows the difference between voice and not voice. So let's go to another example. We will bypass this. I, I had a discovery call with someone who is, I mean, he, he, he's got money. He's, he's very well off. So right here we have some really staccato type speech, which is one place where gates can sometimes struggle. So we will take that off bypass and play it again. I, I had a discovery call with someone who is, I mean, he, he's got money. He's, he's very well off. So right here we're saying this isn't perfect because of that staccato-ness, because of the way this last syllable is so much quieter than the rest of the speech. He's very well off. It cuts off the F and off. The main adjustments we have are level bias, threshold, tolerance, and our release and hold. 
let's try to address the choppiness right here. And let me bypass just so we can hear again how choppy it sounds by itself. Someone who is, I mean, he, he, he's got money. The reason I want to play that is because sometimes the way we speak can sound almost like a gate closing too quickly or not opening quickly enough. In this case, with the plugin active, it's a little bit of both. Someone who is, I mean, he, he's got money. So let's bump tolerance down to 20, see if that makes any difference. I, I had a discovery call with someone who is, I mean, he, he's got money. That didn't seem to do a whole lot. Let's put that back. Let's adjust the level bias. Is, I mean, he, he, he's got money. Who is, I mean, he, he, he's got money. Okay, so level bias helps. Let's keep that in mind. We'll come back to that. Let's address the cutoff syllable. He's very well off. So the first thing I want to do is increase the hold sum. By increasing the hold, it's going to be a little more natural. Things are going to hold a little bit longer before releasing. He's very well off. So that helped some but it's still a little cut off at the end. He's very well off. He That sounds better to me. So let's go back to this portion and see how adjusting the hold and release helped with the staccato-ness. Someone who is, I mean, he, he, he's got money. So release and hold didn't really help. Let's mess with the tolerance again. And what I found is it just takes a little bit of messing around, get your release right, then play around with your tolerance, your threshold, and level bias. I mean, he, he, he's got money. I don't recommend going much higher than 60 on threshold. Seems like once you start hitting about 70, you start getting a lot more pumping or gating, which is not what we're looking for. Who is, I mean, he, he, he's got money. He's, he's very well off. So we're still getting some stuff chopped off. Someone who is, I mean, he, he, he's got money. He's... He's very well off. He's very well off. So I would probably leave it around here. I, I had a discovery call with Someone who is, I mean, he, he, he's got money. He's, he's very well off. So just to demonstrate, let's go back to the, the first part I played where we demonstrated just the noise. So we've minimized this little bump, and everything else is still being blocked out. Let's look at another example. So here, I was drinking while she was talking. This is what it sounded like. So this is what 
AOL setup gate does for that. So it basically does nothing. Let's turn on the smart gate. So it let one sound through right here. Bumped the threshold up to 60 and it took care of that. Let's go to one other example here. And one of the other things I've noticed is this does a really good job of removing breaths. So that's something to keep in mind if you want the breaths left in. This might not be the right plugin for you. And the other thing that is really important with this, like any other gate, the cleaner the recording, the better you're able to remove the, the noise, the better it's going to seem because it's that noise that is kind of hidden below the voice that really gives a gate away. So in this example, both of these recordings are fairly clean. I've got voicey noise on her clip. So let's go back, we'll bypass, and just listen as she speaks. Podcast. Um, at first he was thinking once a month, I strongly suggested at least once every two weeks. Um, so people, you know, it takes a while for people to. So now we'll play it with the smart gate active, but voice de noise is still off. He is an entrepreneur author. He wants to start a. He wants to start a podcast. Um, at first he was thinking once a month. I strongly suggested at least once every two weeks. Let's go back to the default settings real quick. He wants to start a... He wants to start a podcast. Um, at first he was thinking once a month. And again, the, the default settings are not that good of a starting point. I find that adjusting the threshold and increasing the release and hold time helps quite a bit. Because here's what it is, what it sounds like with the tolerance at 20, threshold 60, release around 200 milliseconds and hold around 100 milliseconds. You'll notice that this, let's bypass again. There were a couple places where it was kind of noticeable. He wants to start a, he wants to start a podcast. Um, at first he was thinking once a month. It was once a month and there was something else in here. So we'll Go back to the default settings real quick. He wants to start a... He wants to start a podcast. Right here, podcast. It sounds really weird. Podcast. He wants to start a podcast. Um, at first he was thinking once a month. And one of the other things to make sure when we're using gates is using something like a vocal writer, some kind of a gain writer. In this instance, I'm using Nectar 3. Basically just using this to 
set the level to negative 23 plus or minus 3 LUFs to try to get the volume as consistent as possible so that we struggle less with these ends of words. So let's drop the level bias down some. Um, at first he was thinking once a month. We might need to bump up the hold a little bit. He was thinking once a month. Okay, there we're getting a much cleaner release. He was thinking once a month. I strongly suggested at least once every two weeks. Um, so people, you know... And you can start hearing the gate open and close towards the end of this. You hear that noise. Strongly suggested at least once every two weeks. Um, so people, you know, it takes a while for people to. So let's turn on the voice denoise and see if that helps clean that up. Once every two weeks. Um, so people, you know, it takes a while for people to get on that hamster wheel of, you know, the expectation of hearing them say stuff. So he was like, oh, I totally understand. Okay. Uh, once every two weeks then. Um, so I think that it's doing a pretty good job there. The voice, the dialogue is still sounding natural, but it's helping put any of background noise, just silencing it. Let's go to another example. So here we have two tracks where the people are, Ham and Scott, are recording in the same room. Focus on this area right here. Let me solo so you can hear the bleed. Because you're a subscriber, or you just found us wherever you pick up your podcasts. But there's a special reason to visit growthignitersradio.com. This is the only way you can access over 200. So as we can tell, there's a lot of bleed here. Let's go to this spot where we can hear the bleed from his voice. And it's also the only place you can find unique show notes, bios. Let me see if I have a gate on either of these. Let me put in a gate just to demonstrate. So this is what it sounds with a gate. Right, and it's also the only place you can find unique show notes, bios, and resource links specifically related to each and every episode. Subscribe today by going to... Let me play the track that actually has the gate on it. To everyone listening, welcome. We're glad you joined us. Whether it's because you're a subscriber, or you just found us wherever you pick up your podcasts. But there's a special reason to visit growthignitersradio.com. This is the only way you can... You can see no matter how high I raise the threshold, we're still getting bleed. But then I guess part of that's because I have this set as a downward expander. But either way, let's take that out and let's set up the smart comp. Or the smart gate. And we are at the default settings. You can see we're not letting anything through. Right, and it's also the only place you can find unique show notes, bios, and resource links specifically related to each and every episode. Subscribe today by going to growthignitersradio.com and si click on sign up now. And to learn more about... I'm still hearing that release some, so I'll just bump up the hold and the release time a little bit and click on sign up now 
And to learn more about Business Advancement Incorporated, go to businessadvance.com about us. That sounds more natural. Let's go back to this track now. To everyone listening, welcome. We're glad you joined us. Right, and it's also the only place you can find unique show notes, bios, and resource links specifically related to each and every episode. Subscribe today by going to growthignitersradio.com. So let's demonstrate with Pam. Resource links specifically related to each and every episode. Subscribe. Now let's listen to some of her dialogue. Welcome, welcome back to Growth Igniters Radio with Pam Harper, that's me, and Scott Harper. Today Again, we're getting some of that release cut off. Harper, that's me, and Scott Harper. Let's bypass that just to see if maybe it's the way she said it originally. And Scott Harper. So yeah, even without the gate, it sounds almost like it's gated. And Scott Harper. Today, Scott and I are speaking with Amy. The way it was originally pronounced. Today, Scott and I are speaking with Amy Showalter, political influence expert and author of the book, The Underdog Edge, about how CEOs can most affect the underdog edge, about how of the book, The Underdog Edge, about how See, I don't like how it's cutting out at the end of edge the book the underdog edge about how dog edge about how that's why the release and hold times are so so important to getting a really good natural sound when using a gate so after playing with this for a couple of hours testing it on different different material I think it's a very valuable plugin for podcast editors. It will save me a good amount of time because I won't have to manually cut out all of the silence. If you look at my at my session here, you can see I do cut all of the silence out and I do that manually because Hindenburg does not have a strip silence feature. So this will save time on that, but it will also save time when I'm doing video production and I don't want to spend a lot of time trimming everything up. I just want to clean up the sound really quickly. So this will give me a really good starting point. It will knock out 90, 95% of those low level noises that a regular gate would miss. So for me, this is an instant buy, but I'm also a big fan of Sonable's smart plugins as it is. I'm a big fan of their EQ, their compressor, and their limiter. So it's not really a surprise that I'm also a fan of this. The biggest thing I wish it did that it doesn't, and maybe an update will provide this, is for it to do a better to actually analyze the audio and give a suggested starting point for all the settings, sort of like their smart EQ and smart compressor do. But that's kind of a small little thing. It takes a few minutes to get it set up. And once you get it set up, it's going to be fine. So if I was going to use smart gate as my everyday gate, I would probably create a preset based off of what I've seen today, right now, that would start out with and obviously using the speech mode level bias. I'd leave it 
threshold, I'd probably set somewhere around 55 to 60 percent. Release somewhere around 200 milliseconds. The hold around somewhere between 150 and 200, and the tolerance somewhere between 15 and 20 percent. That should give a pretty good starting point for most dialogue. And like I said, the keys to getting the best results out of this is to use some kind of gain writer to make sure everything's as close to consistent in volume as possible and how clean the recording is. So being able to clean it up really well in RX or whatever you use to clean up your dialogue, that will go a long way towards getting a really good result from the smart gate. I hope you found this helpful, and I'll talk to you all next time.